The UN Security Council just before it began discussing Syria's faltering political process. They had been talking in open session about Libya, but when that meeting ended, they went behind closed doors to hear a frank assessment of the situation in Syria from the UN Special Envoy Stefan Di Mistura. He earlier told reporters that conditions needed to hold new talks are not there yet. In parts of Syria, the cessation of hostilities exists only in name, and the Syrian government is still besieging areas of the country. There is a sense of urgency in having the talks resumed, because we need to keep the momentum. But those talks, in order to be credible, based again on the Vienna and the, and the decision, need to have a credible ground based on humanitarian improvement and on cessation of hostilities improvement. The UN has been using airdrops to reach people in Deir Ezzor, which is besieged by ISIL. But if the Syrian government doesn't give full access, a deadline has been set for airdrops to be used in other areas too. Diplomats see that deadline, June the 1st, which was set by ministers last week at the International Syria Support Group meeting, as a key moment. June the 1st is fast approaching. You know, Ambassador, that the Syrian government control the airspace, so in effect they need to give permission to WFP to do the airdrops. What happens if the Syrian government don't allow airdrops? All the countries of the ISSG signed on to that commitment. So I think while we don't want to talk about hy hypotheticals, we recognize that June 1st is closing in upon us, and it is imperative that those same members of the ISSG who signed on to the statement, then on the back end are prepared to bring the fruits of that statement to life if that is what's required. So those are the kinds of discussions uh, that are occurring. We have a, a, a humanitarian task force, as you know, that is uh, jointly chaired by the United States and Russia. That is a place where ISSG members will pour over these proposals, and we may meet again in all likelihood next week to assess what progress has been made against the standard of securing the access that the ISSG demanded. I'm told that behind closed doors, Special Envoy Dimas Stura's tone was not too positive. He said he wanted to get the Syrian parties back to Geneva, but he acknowledged that talks would not be possible in the next two to three weeks. James Bays, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.